This is a simplified drawing of a CDI, capacitor discharge ignition. All the way to the left is the exciter coil and it has a rotating magnet that induces an AC voltage in that coil. Below that is the pulse rotor. It has one magnet and it induces a voltage in the trigger coil. Now the rotation of these will depend on the requirements of the motor and I chose a rotation pattern strictly for demonstration purposes. Up and a little bit to the right is the ignition stop switch. When that's closed, it basically shorts out the voltage that would charge the capacitor. To the right of that is the diode, D1. That diode is the one that lets the voltage through that charges the capacitor to the right. And between those two is the SCR. That is the solid state device that triggers the discharge of the capacitor which then produces a spark. And that happens when the gate gets a signal from the trigger. To the right of the capacitor is the ignition coil and spark plug. Now the magnets have rotated and has induced a voltage in the exciter coil with this polarity, negative on the bottom, positive on the top. And when that happens, D1 will conduct and here you can see the charge path for the capacitor. When the magnet continues to rotate, we don't have any current, but notice that the capacitor is still charged. And when the magnet is in this configuration, we've got the opposite polarity and still nothing happens because the diode will only conduct in one direction. And as we continue and get to another south pole, we have the polarity again, negative on the bottom and positive on the top, and D1 conducts and we get a little more voltage in that capacitor. And again, we don't have anything until we get to another south pole. And we have a little bit more voltage put into that capacitor. And now we're coming up on another south pole. And now the capacitor is charged completely. Now take a look at the pulse rotor. In this position, it has induced a signal into the trigger which goes up through the resistor onto the gate of that SCR. That SCR now fires or shorts out and all the voltage that was stored in that capacitor now discharges and produces a spark at the spark plug. Now the capacitor has started charging again and the voltage and current that is going through the primary of that ignition coil is low enough that it will not produce a spark but it is enough to start charging the capacitor. I'm going to let this run for a while so you can see the sequence a few times.
Thanks for watching.